Here are eight strategies for answering SATS questions. Strategy one, key words. Highlight the key words in the question to give you a clue about what to do next. Strategy two, cross off. To avoid making silly mistakes, cross off parts of the question you've tackled to make sure you don't miss any steps or repeat steps when answering the question. Strategy three, remember units. Unless the units are already included in the answer box, make sure you remember to write your answers in full and include units. For example, for this question, you should include the pound sign in your answer. Strategy four, use a formula. Try to remember formulas. Think about the contents of the question and any formulas you could use. Strategy five, use a diagram. Drawing a bar model or array can help you to estimate what the answer size could be or help you to identify the goal of the question. Strategy six, check your answers. Always double check your answers. Work backwards and check that your answers make sense to help you pick up on any silly mistakes. Strategy seven, use the inverse. When answering a question like this, try to think about the relationship between multiplication and division and addition and subtraction and how they are each the opposite to each other to tackle this type of problem. Strategy eight, look out for marks. Always check the number of marks a question has. This can help you figure out how many steps there are to answer a particular question.